Hi guys, my name is Mark Piller. Welcome. If you ever build a, a custom skill for Amazon Alexa or if you're planning to build one, there are quite a few things that you need to know about the structure of the requests sent to your skill by Amazon. Specifically, when the skill uh, is being invoked, you need to be able to validate the actual request to make sure that it uh, conforms to a certain structure, that it is sent by uh, Amazon, and uh, the verification process is part of the certification that Amazon puts every single skill through whenever they're published into the store. So once the request is validated, you need to be able to determine the type of that request, whether it's a launch request or intent request, or there is a new experimental feature called fulfillment request. Basically, Alexa tests different skills to see if one can actually handle a request. Uh, once you uh, pass that, you need to be able to extract the name of the intent that is in the request. Uh, for any given intent, you should be able to extract the values that are in the slots. Uh, you do all this, and then you should be able to uh, create a response that is delivered to Amazon that is also in the proper format. And there may be different types of responses. There could be just a traditional response. There could be a response that is called progressive response. So uh, there are a lot of different things you actually need to know. And as a result, the process of building a custom skill could become uh, rather uh, cumbersome. Uh, it could actually become rather tedious because you have to be very uh, uh, particular about how you extract data, how you compose the actual structure of the responses. So we thought that why not make it easier for custom skill developers, those who use Backendless, to make it easier to build custom skills. And uh, we thought about it and we decided to create an SDK for Amazon Alexa. And that SDK provides essentially functions. Uh, it really is a library that gives you all the, uh, the functions to make it easier to process data uh, in the requests that are sent by Amazon and to compose responses. That SDK is different than any other SDK that we have built. You don't actually download it from our website. That SDK sits right in Backendless Marketplace. And in order to obtain it, you just go to the marketplace and install it into your backendless app. Once it is installed, you get a list of all the uh, API functions that you can start using in your skill. And your skill could be implemented either in Java or JavaScript or in Codeless. Uh, doesn't matter what language uh, you use or if it's Codeless, you can tap into that SDK to start invoking those functions to verify your request, to extract the intent name, to get the slot values, to compose responses. All those things are in the SDK. And then we actually have a rather uh, uh, solid roadmap for the SDK itself to enrich it with uh, all kinds of functionality that Alexa provides. And then as Amazon evolves Alexa service, we will continue uh, evolving our SDK to make it easier to build the custom skills. So definitely check it out. It is, a, a, I believe, very cool uh, functionality that now is available to everyone. Uh, it's uh, right in the marketplace. There is a documentation page linked right from the uh, product in the marketplace. So hopefully you'll find it useful and uh, start, build, start building uh, many more interesting uh, skills for Amazon Alexa using Backendless. Thank you, and as always, happy coding.